Hey guys, it's FIFA Relic here, and welcome to episode 18 of Less FIFA 15. And I decided to sell on both my squads from the start of this episode. I wanted to try out something new. Uh, I've been struggling against uh, 4 1 2 1 2, uh, the second variation of that formation, and the 4 3 1 2. Those two formations where you have two strikers, a center attacking mid, and basically three center mid slash defensive mids uh, playing. So uh, I kind of want to try that out, see if that was the formation that worked for me. Uh, so far, it's the 4 triple 2 that's been the best for me, I felt most confident with. But I wanted to try out something a little bit different. So uh, I changed it up a little bit. I decided to try out Depay as a striker, get uh, Vinaldum to link up with him. A few Premier League players have a 5 star skill and interrupt. And uh, then finally, some Serie A players uh, for the defense. We get Kalini, we get Emmanuelson, we get Basakli, and uh, for um, the goalkeeper position, we'll pick up Handanovic. So that will pretty much be the squad. And we get a position modifier for Depay and a manager just to get the most chemistry out of him possible. And that would pretty much make up the squad. So in the net, we do have Handanovic. We used him quite a bit uh, in the in the start of the series, and he's back into that. Then we do have Basakli, and um, yeah, good work, great. He's uh, tall and uh, got good stats all around defensive wise. And the same thing applies for Kilini. They got some really good stats uh, for defending. Then we got Walker on the right back. He was quite expensive because well, Premier League player and pace. And I guess a different version could have been uh, Rafael and Herrera on the right centre mid, perhaps. Left back we have Emmanuelson, another quite expensive player because he is a silver and he got some good all-round stats and at the same time he links nicely between uh, the Premier League and Serie A players I got going in the team and now moving on to the midfield we do first up have a Sandro and uh, yeah some very good defensive stats he's tall got good work grades he got a bit of pace on him physical and defensive stats passing is all right as well and then we've got two box-to-box -box midfielders out on the wide center mids we've got Dembele and um, yeah good all-round stats four-star skills dribbling he's sort of tall as well and then we've got Leroy Fair uh, tall, high, high work rates, and again, complete, good, well-rounded stats. Of course, not four-star skills on him, but he did score a few nice goals in this episode. Coming up is shortly. Now, on the center attack mid, we do have to wrap with the five-star skills. And in nine games, he managed to get one goal and four assists. And that was playing out on a wide center attack mid in a 4 triple 2 So, uh, building this squad, I was kind of hoping he would um, be involved a little bit more in the play. Playing him in the center uh, of the of the midfield. And then we do have Vinaldum on the striker spot. Um... And he's there to link up with Depay, uh, which plays on six chemistry. And to be fair, I think that is all right. I played a lot of other players in six slash seven chemistry on the top. And they've actually been playing quite all right. In previous games, he managed to get three goals in six games from a left mid spot in a 3-5-2. So that is pretty good when he's not the main striker. So I kind of want to try him out up on the striker spot to see if he would do better. And maybe score me a bunch of goals like some of the previous players I've been using up there. Like Serrata, Rodrigo and so on. So um, we're going to Division 4. I didn't really have another squad to put in the substitution bench, so I just found some players I had in my club. And then I got ready to play in Division 4. We did get a pretty good start in the last episode. We managed to get 9 points from 4 games. And I was hoping to continue that in uh, in my first game of this episode, but uh, that team I faced... Yeah, that was not too fun to play against. I did get a chance here in the 8th minute with Depay. Unfortunately, he could not convert it. And instead, he would have break on through with a through ball to Abafemi Martins. And his first shot was a goal to make it 1-0. And I got another chance. Depay on the ball here. A little ball will pass the fender. Passed another one. Trying out the shot. And what a save from his keeper there, unfortunately. But we got a corner. And from that, we'll hit the post. It was just one of those games. But I picked the ball up again with uh, Dembele here. Uh, just on the edge of the box. He goes past one defender, two defenders, a third one before he scores a nice little goal there to get me the equalizer. But pretty much straight after that, a through ball and yeah, my keeper just, Handanovic couldn't save anything. And here, I tried, tried to switch to Walker, but I was just too slow. Of a Femi Martins outran my defense, and Handanovic didn't save anything in this match whatsoever. And he did actually score a really nice goal here, but again, Handanovic, what are you doing? Why are you not covering that in your post? Four shots, four goals, not a single save. 
And I didn't rush my keep at any point in time, so he was still just terrible in the net, Handanovic. Very, very disappointing um, for this game. I did get a goal back to make it 4-2 in the start of the second half. And I was trying to get that comeback going. Here's Vinaldum to break on through, try out a shot. Couldn't find the target. 85th minute, we got another chance playing it on through Vinaldum again. And we hit the post. That was pretty much the picture of the game. It was kind of post out. I just could not score. His keeper would save it. I would hit the post, shoot it wide. And uh, yeah, my keeper, Handanovic, he was just useless in this game. He didn't save. Maybe had one save. I think that was pretty much it. It was very disappointing, to be fair. When you look at the full-time stats, he had five shots. And I think that fifth shot, Handanovic managed to save. But it was pretty much too late at that point in time. And that meant I did see myself defeated in the first game with the squad. So it was still looking okay in the division. Nine points after after five games is okay. But I would not like to lose my next game. I'd like to get a win so we could get back on a good, like, uh, I guess, a uh, more comfortable situation in the division. So uh, we did go up 1-0 and Depay scores another goal to bring us up 2-0. Two quite nice goals, but then... Get a little bit unlucky. He plays a through ball. I get the touch onto it, but he goes straight to his player. He can run on through and shoot it right on Handanovic to make it 2-1. Handanovic, again, just didn't save anything. I did get lucky, though. Howard with a terrible touch. I would make it 3-2 to go back into the lead, but he plays a through ball. And again, it seemed like it just went straight through Handanovic. 3-3 it was. Leroy found the ball though and he goes into the box with a few skill moves here. It falls to Vinaldo back to uh, Leroy Fair. Throughout the shot could not convert it. Falls to Terraft instead. He uh, stops up and he goes in for the shot but no power. Straight on Howard. Easy save and instead a through ball. And again, it's just right next to Andanovic. I, I, I literally do not know what happened to him. It's like he, uh, he just turned off anything that could be a save like he just didn't want to save anything in this match however I did manage to get a late equalizer in the 89th 90th minute with the pie to at least give me one point and to be fair that's a pretty good point because we're sitting on 10 points now so we have four games left we need two wins and we'll have the promotion three wins might be a little bit tough in order to get the title so uh, yeah we can afford to lose one game if we want to get the title we can afford to lose two if we want to get the promotion so we go into the next game and um I come up against a Premier League squad. He made a big mistake. Depay picked it up, went past the defender and made a 1-0. Scoring yet another goal for me. And then it was Leroy Fair who also scored in the last game on the ball here. Breaking into the box. And he's able to get it past the keeper to make it a 2-0. However, my opponent, uh, he would get a chance here. And Handanovic, he just rushed out. I didn't rush him. And he almost got it over me. And that would have been terrible. Because if he had a player running into the box. That could have been an easy goal. It's like. In this episode. Handanovic just didn't want to be a goalkeeper. I, I don't know what he was doing. But uh, I could start a counter attack. And break on through with Dembele. And score another goal with him. To make it a 3-0. And we'll go for fourth goal as well. Vinaldum on the ball here. Trying to break into the box. Stop up here. And uh, actually in the end. I locked off the ball. And it felt too to wrap. I could turn around with the fake shot. Pass the defender. And there we do have the fourth goal to win the game. And that is pretty much where we end off this episode as well. About the squad I build here. I'd say the midfield, the attack, pretty solid. Uh, felt good to play with. I could score a bunch of goals. Uh, 10 goals from 3 games is pretty good. However, whenever I slipped up in the defense and my opponents got through, I felt so vulnerable with Handanovic. I don't know why. Like, in past squads, he's been doing really, really great. But, like, I felt... Like in the two first games, I think I maybe had 10, 11 shots on target against me and 8 of them went in. Yeah, not too good. But uh, hopefully in the next episode we can do a little bit better, pick up the final points and get the promotion and maybe the title. We'll see. And that is going to be where we end off this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be back again tomorrow. And that's all. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you later.